everyone, I'm Georgia and this is The Sound of Georgia. Today we're going to be talking about the title of The Sound of Music in other countries. Also, just before we start, I wanted to mention that Eleanor von Trapp, the second daughter of Maria, died the other day. She was 90 years old. R.I.P. So I have eight different titles that The Sound of Music received when it was translated into other languages. And I'm just going to go through them and tell you what I think of them. I'm not going to try and pronounce any of these. I'll just tell you what it means in English and how I feel about it. So the first one we're going to talk about is the German title, which translates to My Song, My Dream. I think My Song, My Dream is a great expression and I think it very well encapsulates what the movie is about. Also, the characters would be speaking German in universe, so subconscious bonus point. My Song, My Dream would probably be my favourite. The second one I'm going to be talking about is the French translation and this is one I, oh god, had to look up at Google Translate. It was not hard to find that this was the French title but I had a bit of trouble finding out what it translated into in English. I looked it up on Google Translate and according to that it translates to The Sound of Happiness and considering that seems definitely along the lines of what it would be I'm rolling with it. The tagline for the movie was the happiest sound in all the world, so not that different. The title it got in Egypt when translated means love and tenderness. It doesn't really mention music or singing at all. The Sound of Music is not just a musical. Music and singing are diegetically a huge part of the story. It's not like most musicals where people are singing just because it's a musical. There are a lot of in-universe performances. I made a whole video about that years ago. And I would argue that when looked at the right way, most of the songs in Sound of Music could be seen as diegetic. So music should probably be mentioned in some capacity in the title, and this one doesn't. And doing that just kind of misses the point. I think. The Spanish title translates to Smiles and Tears and it's kind of the same thing. See what I just said. Then there are a whole bunch of countries including Mexico, Venezuela and Argentina but many many others where the translated title equals The Rebellious Novice. This almost seems like a Disney title. This title is accurate for some of the story, but ultimately I feel like it misses the point on a big part of the film. I think calling it The Rebellious Novice puts a little too much emphasis on Maria and not enough on the Von Trapps as a family, and once again very little on the, you know, music. In Portugal the movie's known as Music of the Heart, and I think this one, kind of like the German title, suits it pretty well, and it would probably be my second favourite. In Thailand the movie is called Charms of the Heaven Sound, which I can kind of see if I tilt my head and squint. And then the final one I'm going to talk about today, the pièce de résistance, the title in Hong Kong. In that country the translated title means Fairy Music Blow Fragrant Place Place Here. Uh, WTF? Now, if you were to look at the titles of the German film and the Japanese anime, obviously they aren't Sound of Music specifically, but it's the same story, more or less. A little more historically accurate. Neither of those titles actually mention music when translated, but they very much focus on the name of the family. So while neither of those mention music specifically, they do put a lot of emphasis on the family itself. Just like how I said The Rebellious Novice kind of doesn't do that. And then you have the Von Trapp family, A Life of Music. It kind of follows the German film and the anime in that they just have the family's name and Life of Music. I don't think we even need to guess as to why that's on there. I don't think there's any doubt about why Life of Music is part of the title. If you look at the DVD cases in certain countries, it will actually say as portrayed as lethal in The Sound of Music because Life of Music is not Maria's story. It's Agatha's, the oldest daughter, and it is the most historically accurate version out there, while simultaneously being the least historically accurate version out there. I did make a video about that. So while the titles of versions of this story that aren't The Sound of Music don't really mention music, they do mention the family, 
and I think that kind of evens it out. In fact, even though it's more generic, it's almost more accurate in a way. Also, this is just a little extra bonus thing, I guess. But Sound of Music was also very interesting when it came to the dubbing of the songs. I don't know if this is what still happens nowadays, but back in the 60s, usually when you dubbed a film, they wouldn't bother with the songs. If it was a musical, they'd just leave the songs as is and put subtitles. But with Sound of Music, they didn't do that. With Sound of Music, all the songs were translated and then dubbed which was, yeah, pretty unique back then. Obviously, there are plenty of other languages that this movie got translated into, and thus plenty of other titles it would have had, but those are just sort of the most well-known. And in the case of Hong Kong, just a big what? And that's everything I've got for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what translated title that the, the Sound of Music got is your favourite. Feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my video next week. So long for